Ms. Hernsberger and Mr. Carter and any other witnesses that are going to testify. Please raise your right hands. Solemnly swear the testimony you're about to give is the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Y'all can both put your hands down. All right. Who's handling this case for state? I am, Your Honor. And I may awesome. need Ms. Boudreaux as well. Lola Boudreaux, do you solemnly swear the testimony you're about to give is the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth? I do. Thank you, ma'am. You put your hand down. Mr. Carter, uh, this is a lawsuit to establish first whether or not you are the biological father of Walker Hernsberger. Do you understand that the nature of the initial part of this lawsuit? Yes, sir. Now, you have the right in a case like this, Mr. Carter, to ask me for DNA testing. That is your right. You don't have to take a DNA test, but I want you to understand what your rights are. Mr. Carter, do you wish to take a DNA test in regards to the child Walker Hernsberger? No, sir. You understand, sir, that this is your day to get a DNA test. If you don't take one today, that's your right. But I'm not going to let you come back in a couple of years and ask me for one then. You understand? Yes, sir. There's just so much wrong here. Number one, I have no clue why the father is passing on this DNA test. Like the judge said, he's going to rule that you are the legal father right now and you can't come back years later and say that you're not the father. What's going on right now is he's allowing the judge to establish paternity legally along with child support, medical support, and everything else that he will be legally responsible for without a DNA test going on the record. I'm hoping that he already had a test or something, but no one should ever do this, of course, without a test. Second, what is a baby mama up here doing? I don't know why the judge won't tell her to stop. Maybe it's not bothering him, but she's up here pulling on her hair. Like, ma'am, this is not a Veda. This is not supercuts. Stop doing your hair. Your hair should have been done before court. This is just tacky. You knew the date and time that you had court. You should have gotten all that pulling and twisting out of the way before the court hearing started. Don't come in the courtroom still trying to style your hair. We already know Judge Judy would have told her to stop. We're going to go ahead and keep watching this hearing to see what happens here. But first, take a second to make sure that you're subscribed to the channel and click the notification bell for all updates. Won't waste any time. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Now, when um, Walker was conceived, were you engaged in sexual relations with anyone other than Mr. Carter? No. <clears throat> okay. And we're asking the court today to name um, Mr. Carter as the biological and legal father of Walker. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. Now, are you um, asking the court today to change the child's last name to Carter? <clears throat> yes. And, um, <coughs> excuse me, is Mr. Carter a good father? <clears throat> yes. And does he see Walker on a regular basis? Yes. Um, does Walker, has Walker ever spent the night with him? Yes. Okay. <coughs> How is Walker covered for insurance? <clears throat> Medicaid. Of course, her kid is on Medicaid. They can never really afford to pay for anything, so they always need help. If the father was responsible for the kid's medical, he wouldn't be on Medicaid. Now, would Mr. Carter be the best person to ask um, about his uh, employment and wage information? Yes. To your knowledge, does he have, uh, mis does Mr. Carter have any other children under the age of 18? No. And are you asking for back child support or just child support going forward? Um, back child support. Okay. And um, when did you let Mr. Carter know that he could be Walker's father? The day I got pregnant. Okay. Did you ever tell him anybody else could be the father? Um, I'm going to be honest. I did because I'm a girl and I was... I was pregnant and my hormones are crazy, but no one else possible possibility would ever be his father. Father. And here comes the baby bot bimbo babble. It never fails. This woman just said she lied about paternity because she's a girl. Is she confirming that females are emotional liars and literally blame it on hormones? See, this is why people don't want females leading anything. This is it right here. The woman says she was emotional and pregnant, so she lied about paternity and she should be excused because she's a girl. 
see how she went from woman to a girl? Turned into a complete child all of a sudden when she knew she was wrong and wanted to avoid accountability and judgment. I did because I'm a girl and I was, I was pregnant and my hormones were crazy. And how many other women do you think will agree with her and excuse this behavior? Now, one thing is when she was asking for back child support payments along with current child support, she was a woman then. When she laid up and got pregnant with that baby, she was a woman then. She was a woman during all of that, but now she's just some little girl. Well, when was the first time you told Mr. Um, Carter that nobody else could be the father? <coughs> I'm sorry, say that again. It kind of broke up. Did you say could be the father or couldn't be the father? Couldn't be the father. I'm sorry, I'm kind of got laryngitis uh, today. When was the t first time you made it clear to him that nobody else could be the father? The, the day I got pregnant. Okay, but you said at some point you also told him uh, somebody I, else could be. I, I was two months pregnant. And um, I had said that. Okay, but and I, then, so after that, when did you make it, tell him that nobody else could be the father? Like a couple days after I okay. said that. And this right here is why paternity testing should be mandatory. I saw a woman come in the same courtroom maybe two days before and testify that both of her kids belonged to the father. It was all on record, gave both the kids his last name, and she learned right there in court that only one of the kids belonged to him. So she had been lying since the other child was born and was even ready to put him on child support for both kids. She's been trying to ruin his relationship with his new woman, but the DNA results revealed that one kid wasn't his. You are not. <laughs> At any time, they can say that he's the father and then say he's not the father and then say he's the father again, you know, because she's a girl. I did because I'm a girl and I was, I was pregnant and my hormones were crazy. Um, now, have you and Mr. Carter lived together since Walker was born? No. <laughs> and as far as you know, has Mr. Carter been incarcerated at any time since Walker was born? Yeah. And has Mr. Carter helped you any with the child since the child was born? Uh, like financially? Yeah. Uh, can you tell the court about how much he's given you since then? He hasn't helped me financially, but he's helped me. He's went and bought like diapers and wipes and stuff like that. He hasn't gave me any money. Okay. Your Honor, I have no further questions of Ms. Um, Hernsberger. I'd like to pass the witness and call Mr. Carter. Go ahead. And do you have any other children besides Walker under the age of 18? No, ma'am. And, <coughs> excuse me, where are you currently working? I work at a company called Echo. And how long have you worked there? It'll be a year now. Okay. And um, are you paid by the hour or are you paid salary by the hour and how much do you make an hour twenty dollars an hour and um do you typically work 40 hours a week or do you get any overtime i mean i do get some overtime but it's not guaranteed sometimes we work 40 hours mostly we work fit usually we work 50 hour weeks okay have you gotten your w-2 from last year yet Yes, ma'am. Do you recall what your gross was for the year? Uh, it was 50, 54000 Okay. And you had worked there the whole year? Yes, ma'am. Okay. <coughs> Side note, with all the money the state is collecting in child support, they should take better care of their handlers. I don't know what's going on with Miss Overstreet today, but I know she's got good medical insurance. Yeah, but this is how it goes. They always grill the father on how much money he's making and if he's been to jail. They never ask the mother the same questions. The father here is making average pay about $54,000 per year. That's gross with overtime. Without overtime, he's making about $41,000 per year, $20 per hour. 
but let's see how much of his pay will be allocated for support payments. Excuse me. Um, I, I have had weeks off every once in a while to switch jobs, but I pretty much stayed working. Okay. And when you say switch jobs, you just mean from one uh, just from place one, to another? Yes, ma'am. Same company. You, okay. And do you have any um, insurance available for the child through um, ECHO? Yes, ma'am. I can provide insurance. Do you know how much it would cost to add the child to your insurance? I think it's $350, something like it, that. Is that a month? I'm not sure if it's a month, but I'm pretty sure it's a month. Okay. <laughs> okay. How often do you get paid? Weekly. Okay. But and, and you know it wouldn't be 350 weekly, right? No, ma'am. Okay. It'd be Okay. Um, does that include dental or do you know? Uh, <coughs> yes, ma'am. Okay. And um, would that be an, a, an extra cost for dental? Or is it included in that? All included. Okay. And do you have any kind of union dues? No, ma'am. Okay. And... Um, you mentioned that uh, you had taken a home test to see if the child was yours. Do you yes, remember when, when you took that test? It was when he was at uh, a couple of days after he was born. Okay. While he was at the hospital. Okay. So you've known at least since December of 2022 that he was yours? Yes, ma'am. Or November 30th. Okay. Well, that was when he was born. Oh, okay. Right? Yeah. A couple okay. of days. A couple of days after that. Okay. Okay, great. That was really good. He went up to the hospital and swabbed the baby on site. This is really how it should go for every baby born. The hospital should at least swab the baby and complete the DNA test too. And then women won't be able to play these paternity games and the men won't be able to go around saying the baby isn't his. Everyone will know up front who's the father. Now, um, have you uh, given Miss uh, Hernsberg any um, uh, financial aid, cash payments or anything since the child was born? I gave her about <laughs> $60 and all. About 60 when she would ask for like gas money or something, but that's it. Okay. And are you are you also asking to have the child's last name uh, be changed to Carter? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, Your Honor, I have nothing further of this witness. Are you next week? Um, I, I don't have any further witnesses. Thank you. Ms. Hernsberger, do you have any questions about this case before I make a ruling? Um, no. Mr. Carter, do you have any questions about this case before I make a ruling? No, sir. You guys are great parents. Don't let the don't let the money and the numbers get in the way of being good parents. Okay. Yes, sir. Yeah, the judge he's just buttering them up because he's about to hit the father with harsh reality. Funny how the father gave her $60 in diapers since the child's been born, and she said that he was a good dad. Do you know how many fathers give these women hundreds and even thousands at a time, and the mother will still come to court and say he's a bad dad? Sounds like she's been allowing the baby to go visit the father and not standing in the way of visitation. I'm pretty sure that has a lot to do with her assessment. He's able to spend time with his kid. Now, she's still asking for back child support, so I guess it's safe to say the $60 and the diapers and wipes weren't actually good enough for her. You know, because she's a girl, she's able to change her mind back and forth. I did because I'm a girl and I was... I was pregnant and my hormones were crazy. The court's gonna kind of find the court has jurisdiction. The court's gonna find based on the testimony of the parties. I mean, it is certainly in the child's best interest to name the parties as joint managed conservators with the mother as the primary custodian. I mean, that goes without saying. I will change the child's last name to Carter. That'll be effective as soon as I sign the court order. Uh, Mr. Carter is gonna have visitation at any and all times mutually agreed to by the parties. If no mutual agreement, at least standard possession. I'm gonna order Mr. Carter to maintain the health insurance through ECHO. 
that will be his responsibility. I've given him credit for his uh, for the medical insurance at three hundred a month and the dental insurance for fifty dollars a month. Mr. Carter, I'm going to ask you this uh, kind of one time. All right. Do you intend to stay with Echo as long as you can? Yes, sir. Okay, because I don't want to order you to maintain the health insurance, Mr. Carter, and then you lose your job a week from now because you decided to move to a different company. It, no. It's going to be your responsibility, yours, Mr. Carter, to cover this child on health insurance. Yes, sir. You need to understand, Mr. Carter, that according to the order that I'm going to sign in this case, if you let that health insurance lapse on the child, guess who is suddenly 100% responsible for every medical bill this child has? You. Normally, I would order you and the mother to split the cost of anything that's not covered by insurance. But since you allowed the child's the insurance to lapse, you will be financially responsible for all of it. You understand? Yes, Your Honor. That's why I wanted to make sure you understood. If if you change jobs, if you're working with Echo today, right, uh, and then you go to Rim tomorrow, you gotta make sure they put health insurance on this child as soon as you get there. Okay. Or you've got to pay for the insurance that you've had at Echo for a while until the insurance with your new company starts. Okay? Yes, sir. All right. Uh, child support, six eighty five dollars a month, uh, beginning March the 1st of 2023. Uh, retroactive child support, the amount of $2,055. But that'll be paid back at a rate of $40 per month, Miss Overstreet. Um, that payment also beginning March the 1st of 2023. Uh, court cost by Mr. Carter but I'll give him until July 31st of 2023 to pay my court cost. Ms. Overstreet, did the state of Texas, oh, uh, obviously a domicile restriction is in place in this case. Um, all the parties reside in Jefferson County. Um, does the state of Texas uh, hear all the terms and conditions of my court order? Yes, Your Honor. All right. Mr. Carter, Ms. Hernsberger, what's gonna happen now is Ms. Overstreet's office is gonna send me a proposed order if it matches what I said here, then I'm going to sign it and get it back to them. And they're going to make a copy of it and send it to each of you. Uh, Ms. Hernsberger, you have any questions? No. Mr. Carter, do you have any questions? Uh, yes. Go ahead. Uh, did you say there was a, cust uh, uh, a certain kind of custody there is? <laughs> In the state of Texas, the presumption is that y'all are going to be good parents. And so I name you as joint managed conservators with Ms. Hernsberger as the right to establish the primary residence of the child. Well, that means the child's going to primarily reside with her, um, but within the area restriction that I've just given, which is Jefferson County plus any county that touches Jefferson County. Okay. And right. will, will I have visitation and stuff yes, like sir. that? Every first, third, and fifth weekend of the month, every other holiday, every Father's Day weekend, and 30 days in the summer. Yes, sir. Thank you. It sounds like you and Ms. Hernsberger have been working things out in regards to the visitation. I would admonish you to continue to do that in the future. If it works with your schedule, it works with hers, um, continue to do that. But if not, you do have the visitation schedule that I've awarded. Yes, sir. Thank you, Your Honor. You're both free to go. Have a good day. Thank right. you. Yes, ma'am. The mother was able to get the back child support assessed at a little over $2,000. That will be paid monthly at $40. $685 per month in current child support. The judge is saying the baby must come off of Medicaid and the father is going to have to get insurance for him through his job, which will be at $350 per month, according to the father. The court costs the father will have to pay that as well. And the child's name is going to be changed to his last name. So the father is now leaving court and getting ready to start payments in less than a week after this court date. That's $725 a month he must pay in addition to the new medical liability of $350. Speaking of medical, he can't get fired or switch jobs or get hurt or anything because he must be able to maintain the health insurance. And if he doesn't, any medical bills will be 100% on him, not 50-50, 100%. Once again, the mother not held responsible at all for the kid's medical because before, it was the state Medicaid program that was responsible. And now it's the father that's responsible. This mom was never responsible for it. And no one will ever label her a deadbeat. She's a great parent. Although she played paternity games and when the kid was born, she gave him her last name, which is why the judge had to grant the name change today. That's a total of $1,075 per month. He's making $20 per hour. 
he's got to maintain 40 hours per week. That's $800 per week, over $41,000 per year gross before taxes and other deductions. His net pay is about $679 per week. That's over $35,000 per year. And it doesn't include funding retirement. He's contributing about 36 to 37% of his gross on child support. He's bringing home roughly $2,700 per month. And after paying his child support obligations, he's going to have about $1,600 to his name. Then he's going to have to take that $1,600, pay for a place to live, food, gas, transportation. How, Sway? I don't know, but he can forget about anything extra. Not only that, he's going to have to keep up with all of this. He can't get behind. Or they're going to play around with his license or put him in jail. Here's an average man with average pay. And women love to say, oh, you don't have any money. What am I going to take? Well, here it is. This is what they will take. Anything and everything you have. The system will make you pay for it, guys. And of course, the mothers will never really be held accountable for anything. And we all know why. It's not a secret. I did because I'm a girl and I was, I was pregnant and my hormones were crazy. Special thank you to our brother Edmund. I appreciate you, Edmund, for all of your support, as well as Willie and Guy. I appreciate all of you. Don't forget that you can support this channel as well. Links to Cash App and PayPal are below. Ladies, fellas, want a balance analysis? Want the truth from a woman's perspective? Then you're going to want to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to like and share.